It's first time it's commentating, pleasure, but yeah. he's uh, he's tearing it up. So <laughs> Thanks, we're moving into some matchups, and I see I see a Loon I yeah, want to say Bowser Jr., but Loon and a Donkey Kong yeah. on the screen. Here we go. Interesting, interesting. So it's All gonna right. be a little bit of probably some cat and mouse play here with uh, Ludwig trying to run away, yeah. flirt, shoot his projectiles possibly. But if you get grabbed by DK, it's super <laughs> scary. You do not want to get grabbed by DK. Yeah, and you know we have we have actually a few. DK players out, you know, locally. I know YMCA does quite a bit of damage out here. Uh, you know, it seems like just that character is so strong. And even then, on the other side of it, there are a couple of Bowser Juniors as well. So it's not a character. Right, so like Calus. Taternator. He's right. really good. And Ketchum, of course, is also, you know, very good right, in his yeah, own right. Ketchum, and yeah. he's, he's showing it, coming out to an early lead. And that one guy is having all the trouble he can handle from... You know, from from Bowser Ketchum. Jr. Yeah. Like, oh my oh. God, that combo! What a play! Yeah, great Down ball. throw straight into a forward air. Right. Off stage, and yeah, it, it it helps though if you're playing against Donkey Kong in such a massive hurt box. Yeah, know? exactly. It's like people Plus, go to the training room and they're they're like, who's my target gonna be? And most of the time, people are just lobbing out new combos. They're like, let me put Donkey Kong real, you know, yeah, on real. It's quick. definitely easy to combo on a heavy. I mean, right. They can't really escape. They have no uh, burst options. And plus, uh, DK has a really hard time coming back from the from uh, off stage right. for uh, ledge ledge options. He's doing a great job of just walling him out, making DK work to uh, try to try to get center stage. Yeah, it just kind of feels like miss that tech right there. It feels like that one guy has just not had a comfortable moment in this entire right. match so far. Might have a little bit. He's got an edge guard situation. He's going in deep after him, but Bowser Jr. as you know, as much um, I'm not sure the word I'm looking for, but crap comes to mind. As much <laughs> crap Bowser Jr. ends up getting, he has a pretty elusive recovery to deal with. You exactly. know, it seems very. It's always hard to pin him down. And you don't really play much uh, Lug Lugwigs, so I mean, it's very hard to uh, learn the matchup. They uh, they can be very um, like uh, like scary to play against because yeah. you don't know you, you don't have the knowledge to play against a character that barely anybody uses. But I mean, he's doing a great job cleaning up that stock right there with the uh, I think it was neutral B right with the cannon. Yeah, and you know it just kind of looks like. That one guy's having to learn on the fly, and exactly, yeah. it is not going well as far as the first lessons go. He's kind of overwhelmed, and pretty much any button that Ketchup is throwing out seems to be the right one. It's working, just Koopaling, jabs, four dares. Oh, there's a parry. All right. So yeah. he's not a god. He doesn't know everything. <laughs> but he's getting every tech chase situation. Like He's definitely making uh, that one guy uh, try to approach him. Mm -hmm. And it's very hard for DK to approach, definitely, because, I mean, he's such a big, heavy hip hurt box, and uh, he can easily be comboed. So, I mean, you gotta you got to space everything perfectly, your back airs, your your uh, your F tilts, everything, down tilt on right. shield, because uh, if you misspace that just a little bit, you're getting punished. And that was a weird exchange we just saw. I know he's going right back to the jabs. Is that enough? Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was a Donkey Kong angle. getting killed by jabs. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Ultimate. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it's actually one of the more powerful uh, jab finishers, so I can't laugh too hard. But <laughs> again, ja Donkey Kong dying to jab. All right, this is this is the world we live in. What a time to be alive! <laughs> <laughs> and let's see what he's switching to. I think I saw Final Destination as the pick, and he's Final going over switch. Snake. The grenades yep. are coming out. As you were saying, it felt like Ketchup was making that one guy have to approach. Right. And so if you have to approach, sometimes just go Snake and throw grenades at the problem. Yeah. No, no problem at all. We're gonna start playing hot potato with all yeah. these grenades and. Uh, Bombs everywhere. So here we go. The projectile battles out. Explosives on both sides. Koopalings and grenades. Which yeah, one's stronger? Who will find out together? Got to keep an eye on that C4 in the center of the stage. Oh, that's true. Make sure. Maybe it'll probably uh, convert with a back throw. We'll see right here. And that's what every, you know. That's the curse for everybody. They go into a snake match and they're like, I'm not going to get hit by a C4. Yep. And then they get hit by a C4. Yep. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of, definitely, because yeah. when you're being pressured, uh, you just lose track of where that where it's at. Uh, and you know it's he's already doing better it looks like just uh, that one guy seems to have a better grasp of the neutral in this situation it's a lot easier if your flow chart is yeah let me just throw a grenade and put some pressure on right and then and you're see actually if I'm forcing, go you're forcing your opponent to approach since uh, you're both basically projectile based it, although it does look like he's a little uncomfortable dealing with the Koopalings he's jumping so far over them or getting hit right directly and he's catching him uh, jumping over but on the flip side of it, it doesn't look like Ketchup's very comfortable playing the you know the standard juggle game against Snake. Mm -hmm. you know, and that's really where the battle is won and lost in this matchup. Oh, it looks like he doesn't know the trick. You gotta, you know, when you're getting jabbed on shield and you get hit more than ten times on shield. You can roll back, right? You can roll out of it. Yeah, yeah you get frame one invincibility. So he just held a shield. Ooh, There's a C4, C4, you're yeah. a prophet! <laughs> <laughs> you are a prophet, sir. You gotta watch out for it. <laughs> Every time he places it, just get, just remembers. Right now, it's on center stage. Maybe he might blow it up just to switch the positioning of it. Yeah. But uh, so far, you just got to remember center stage. 
And, you know, speaking of center stage, Ketchup has just held center stage the entire Ooh, time. Juggling him. Uh, he has not landed yeah. for – that was a good, you know, 10 to 15 seconds of air time. No right. problem. Oh, oh great, wow. great. That Nikita just yeah. comes for us all eventually. Clean it up. And it lasts so long. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And Ketchup already Ooh, put it on the show. Uh, yeah. Back air. All right, yeah, the, the up special hammer is so powerful, so potent. And he's got the jabs coming out again. And Might kill again. Oh, oh, not quite okay. enough that time. Yeah, I can't believe that last one killed on Donkey Kong. Right on DK. That, that was like at 147, I believe. Uh, that was just yeah, straight reads. He one. was staring him straight in the eye and said, that one guy, <laughs> like, Hold this one. I know you're going to jump right here, and I'm going to forward smash, no problem. And So now we got the C4 on center stage again. I, I, I think he just likes keeping the C4 on center stage to try to maybe control if uh, Ludwig is in that area, but I think maybe you should use it more aggressively by keeping it on the, on the edges. Yeah. Or, uh, like, apply pressure with the up smash right there. Yeah, no, I agree with you, especially because C4 as a tool is so powerful right. and how it limits where an opponent can go safely. Mm -hmm. And the battle is not typically won or lost in center stage where he's putting the C4. Right. It's always won and lost for Snake towards the edges if he can guard break the edge guard situations and get back on the stage in the center. So right. putting the C4 actually might end up hurting you because it's actually putting an explosive right where you typically want to be in terms of controlling the matchup and right. controlling the fold and everything. And I think something that Snake should definitely work on is uh, playing around with those grenades. I mean, Beaver versus uh, mixing up his timings and throwing them up in the air. Maybe uh, do the uh, grenade to drop drop the grenade and just throw it down, cover yeah. your air, cover your area right in front of you. But I just don't think he was doing uh, that great of a job to uh, protect himself when huh. being approached. Right. Yeah, just not really mitigating the uh, the disadvantage situations right. or yeah, even in the neutral situation. So, but on the other side of it, Ketchup points a very solid Bowser Jr. Definitely. play, and you know that's that's why we know that Little Big's the best, right? Definitely, definitely. Wonder Don't if uh, Tanner's <laughs> here. Maybe uh, uh, we can see some more uh, more Bowser. Yeah, yeah more I mean, Bowser Jr. or uh, he usually goes Wendy, right? Does he? Yeah, I yeah. think he does Wendy. Yeah, 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 he goes Wendy. I don't know. Some of the some of the Bowser Jr. mains they they go a little crazy if you call yeah. it Bowser <laughs> Jr. So I'm probably the Discord's probably going crazy right now. Right, like, right, all right, right, cancel Lux. He's calling it Bowser.